In this week's Tech Tutorial of the Week, I'm going to show you how incredibly easy it is to make API calls with Bixby. Let's jump over and see a demo of this sample capsule in action. All right, so I'm here in the Bixby simulator. I'm just going to find shoes. I found four shoes. Found four shoes. I can also pass in a parameter. In this case, I'm going to find formal shoes. I found two shoes. It found two formal shoes. And finally, I'm going to show you how to do a post and actually create a shoe. So I'm going to create a shoe. I found one shoe. All right, super simple UI, the magic's in the code. Let's jump over to the Developer Studio and check out the code behind us. We're over here in the Bixby Developer Studio. Let's see how we found a shoe. So I'm going to go to findshoe.js and everything is in this line itself. All right. I'm calling using Bixby's HTTP library, calling get URL, passing a URL, and just saying format is JSON. Notice, no promise, no callback. That's all built in for you. You don't have to worry about it. All right, what happens if I pass in a parameter? Find shoe filtering.js. I create this options object. I'm creating a query here. And then I just use HTTP get URL. The URL, pass the options object into it, boom, works for you. And then finally, I want to show you a post. All right, I create this shoe object. I set up my options and boom, I do a post and it does everything for me. It is incredibly easy in Bixby to make API calls and notice no promises, no callbacks. That's all handled by the Bixby HTTP library makes it super easy and simple. And that's your tech tutorial of the week.